Hey everyone, Pastor Matt here, and I've just got to say I've so enjoyed diving into the last four weeks of our Family Matters series, where our prayer has really been to challenge you, but also to open our eyes as the church to the beauty surrounding God's design for the family unit and how that fits into the greater redemptive narrative of all of Scripture. And along these same lines, I'm really excited this coming Sunday to jump into a teaching focused around an unfortunately avoided topic and subject, something we, we often just don't even engage in within church teaching and church ministry, a biblical conversation about sex. Now, here's the reality, church. This is one of those areas where we should have the most vocal understanding of what God designed this to be. And yet, we have come to a place where we are more okay with culture defining and explaining this concept of earthly relationship and intimacy. And that just isn't how it should be. And so in this study, we're going to take time to look at biblically, why did God actually design the sexual relationship the way that he did? What does scripture say about this? And maybe in the past, you've avoided this discussion because you haven't been taught even a biblical concept of this, or maybe you've been taught only in a way that it's bad and that it's, it's something that's wrong. And the problem with that is, is if that's all we think about when it comes to the sexual relationship within families, then we're missing God's beautiful design for what intimacy can look like. And we need to take back this territory and root into these truths, not only for the health of our marriages and our families and our communities, but for the health of the church. Now, as we dive into this, one of our other major values here at Canton E Free is this understanding that the parents are the primary discipleship makers, the primary disciple makers in their homes. And so we understand that families may have different perspectives and opinions on when they want to have these conversations with their kids. And so as part of this, we're gonna have kids' rooms available during the main service the second service, during the main portion of the second service, we'll have kids' rooms available all the way up through fourth grade. So if you're a family and you're going, okay, I know this is what's gonna be taught and I would rather have this conversation at a different time with my kids, then we wanna know that you can bring them and we'll dismiss those kids up through fourth grade any of your families that you want to send your kids to do that, we completely respect that and we just want to offer that to you. Ultimately, at the end of the day, our prayer is that we can better equip you as families to approach these concepts, not just from a knowledgeable perspective, but more importantly, from a biblical, healthy perspective. So if you have questions about this or you want to get a hold of us and find out a few more details about exactly what we're going to be talking about and how that's going to look, or even how the kids' rooms are gonna be structured during that time. We have contact info, both via email and phone in the description of this video. Reach out to us, we'd be more than glad to walk through that with you. And ultimately, uh, we really hope to see you, whether that's in person or online, this coming Sunday, as we dive into God's word, seek to equip ourselves well to step out into a world that desperately needs the truth of the gospel and the hope that we've been given in Jesus. We really hope to see you this weekend.